Hey, what's up? It's Sean from SouthernWithSean.com and uh, just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about goals and bridging the gap, right? There's the gap that I'm talking about is the gap that exists between your reality, that is where you're at right now, and your goals, where you want to be. You see, I talk to people every day in business who are not reaching their goals for one reason or another. Maybe it's because they've just set new goals. Maybe they just reached their goals and they're set a new bar and they're trying to get to the next level, but they're not quite sure how to get there. One question I always ask people when I get on the phone, what are your goals? Where do you want to go? And everybody has an answer to what their goal is. The next question that I follow with is, what are you going to do to bridge the gap between your reality today and where you want to be tomorrow. And the overwhelming majority of people have no clue what they're going to do. Everybody knows where they want to go, but they don't know how to get there, which obviously is why they're on the phone with us. Now, the, the, the bridge between your reality and the goals is application, right? We all get information every day. We're learning new ways to market. We're learning new ways to close. We're learning new strategies, new, new everything. We're always sucking in information. The problem is, is the bridge is application. Very few people bridge the gap between the information that they get to move from their reality to their goals and actually take the information and apply it, right? And the problem is, is that there's nobody there to hold them accountable. And the reason people need accountability is because most of you guys are looking for some exterior motivation. You're looking for some external motivation to keep you going, to make you reach to the next level. Because you don't have what's inside, which is desire. You've got to have an internal desire that is strong enough to bridge the gap, to take the information and put it into application and get you where you want to go. Because you can have information all day, but let me tell you this, information without application is worse than suffocation. You might as well be dying if you're going to take in information and not use it. What good is it? What good is it to learn and not apply? It does you absolutely no good. The point of our program is to, one, give you as much information as possible, give you all the information. Information overloads you so that there's no excuse to not have the tools to put you in place for success. The bridge then becomes the application, which is you, my friend. Are you going to apply it? And most of you don't have the desire to put in the fucking work to get your goals met. I'll tell you about a call I had yesterday with a guy who told me that he was putting in about 30% of effort that he knew he was capable of. Door-to-door -door sales guy, knocking 10 doors a day, but said, when I'm hustling, I can knock 30 a day. All right, my friend. Question is, why aren't you knocking 30? If you know you need to be knocking 30 to make the money that you want to make, to be able to afford the program that you want to get into so that you don't have to knock any more doors, this is what it's going to take. You're going to have to get off your ass and go knock 30 doors a day for 30 days to save up the money to come to the program. You know what his reply was? Man, I'm just not ready to commit. And that's the problem. Most people are not ready to commit. Most people are not ready to put in the work. Most people are not ready to bridge the gap because the desire is really not that strong. The true desire relies in a handout. You want the shit to come easy, but it never does. Nothing ever worthwhile comes easy. So stop looking for handouts. Stop looking for some quick, easy fix. Stop looking for some external thing to motivate you and look within. Find it in here as to why it is that you want to be successful, why you want to reach those goals. When you can answer your why and you can have a burning desire, like my friend Jackson Downey, who's 23 years old, who stepped up to the plate and invested more than most of you guys could ever imagine investing today at whatever age you are and however long you've been in business at 23 years old, stepped up to the plate and made it happen. And that's why today, a week after he left our program, he listed a property and wrote two offers in seven days because he got off his ass and he took the information and put it into application. And that's why my friend Jackson Downey is going to reach his goals. Now you can sit on the sidelines all day long and look at people like Jackson and wonder how the hell are people in my market killing it? How is this kid going out there killing it? And I'll answer the question for you now because the desire that he has is within and it is stronger than anything external that is out there. 
It's stronger than any car, any house, any piece of clothing that he could buy. He has a desire within and he knows why he wants to be successful and why he wants to dominate his market. So he took the steps necessary to make it happen. You know what's necessary. You know you need to step up. You know you need to make some changes and find a new way to market your business so you can get where you want to go. The question is, are you going to sit on your ass and be like the guy who wants to operate at 30% or are you going to be the Jackson Downey, get off your ass, make the investment, put in the time, put in the work, put in the effort and make this shit happen. Sellingwithshawn.com, I'm out.